This is Cora Bell Sturban, and I am recording what I know about some of the 21 following tapes. Uh, these actually arrived at my house with Mamaw, and it's been sitting around a long time, and I have uh, had them transcribed or transferred, whatever. Some of the conditions are not so good, but we will uh, work through them. The very first one, I can't swear to it, but I think it's a Charlie and when he was a baby. So you know the year, or some of you know the year and the time, but um, I, if something shows up that looks familiar to me, I will mention it. So with that, let's begin. Mamma arrived with 21 tapes along with another one that was in a metal box. So they've been at my house ever since she moved out of Florida. And way back then, Charlie, if you're listening, and diapers were nothing but diapers. And some of them you'll even see how the pins go on to hold them in place. And therefore, we were changing diapers quite a bit. And the little, instead of a pullover t-shirt, they were tied up. As you can see, the water's running. He's gonna try and take a drink. So we had to, what, it be about three months old? Now this is a later time, I, I assume that a few years pass. Now, actually, that was probably, uh, I'm not sure who that is. I mean, I know that's me. So this film, I'm telling you all kind of lies. I guess that was, that might have been me, starring at the very beginning. And um, the age looks about right. Learning to walk. And that was uh, Pappy coming down the stairs a few minutes ago. So, and that's my jolly self there, right? And. Evidently, this is a film of someone moving, and it looks like it might have been, yeah, mother and daddy moving. The car I don't recognize, obviously, but someone's packed up, and here he is, taken off, and I don't know. But 
Anyway, we jumped to a birthday party, I think, and there's Rollin, what he was about, 16, 17, 18, 19, something like that, uh, cutting down trees. And skinny. Don't know who that is. His name was on the front. Uh, might have been Jack. So someone else is going to have to tell me. But I think this is a birthday party for, and there's Charles. Um, and it might have been his birthday. There's a birthday cake showing up here shortly. And there's Jack again. And, and I don't know who that is. That's for sure, but it was a friend. And that's Jed Keesling, good friend of Charles. And um, way, way back, maybe. Yeah, and there's Bonnie. Just sitting around, enjoying the company. And things were hanging on the lines back there, drying. So, and that was in Miami, Florida, or North Miami, Florida. As you can see, the film is not too good. And that's Mamma, I think, just, and there, there, I'm in that, that's my back, yeah, getting out of the way. Don't know who that guy is. Um, and Jed and Charles and there I am with my glasses on Hatton. Oh, yeah, obviously. And Rollin, this almost is something I must have taken. So, and there's Pappy, or Daddy, just sitting around Florida. And um, this is the house we lived in. It's 163rd. And someone, someone's going to come and sit down. I think it's Charles coming down eat, eating cereal or something. But, but this was the backyard. You could see through the backyard. This is a our kitchen table and uh, that almost looks like a uniform I bet he was going to work he worked at a milk company in manufacturing or something that's where he broke a, a leg Christmas of 62 oh now we jump over to um, I believe there's Kim and myself and we would have uh, gone to the Foley's parade. Uh, Bob was in, he was walking the floats or something, and you'll see a little bit more of that. But this is Kim, just walking. And there's her dad. Yeah, he was a pilgrim that year. And um, nice costume. There we were, um, outside of our apartments on Tampa, and our Volkswagen was right there. That is a coat I made for Kim. I still have that in a cedar chest. The buttons are gone because uh, I put them in a display for Rollin uh, later on. Uh, uh, all of Daddy's medals and uh, buttons. And there, um, yeah, there's Kim in a mess. And this must be a birthday cake, I guess, because that's a lot of food. And uh, 
you know, Kim started working, walking early. About 10 months she was walking. And so, the film, the quality of the film is, is suspicious now, but we're trying to preserve some of these. And then it's Christmas time. Yep, only stocking. And we made a fake fireplace. You know, one, one you can tear, tear down. And there's Kim and her daddy. And why I bought those, I have no earthly idea. No wonder she couldn't walk at that moment. So, too big for her little feet. To be honest with you, I don't remember that chair, but it's there. Brandon too. Now we jump back to Florida. There's Rollin getting in his Alfa Romeo. I've not seen these pictures before. <clears throat> so they were on a reel down and, and that's looks like Charlie to me and Bonnie. And we might have been down there visiting. Um I can't quite make out what that is. But it looks like there's a light in something. Maybe a toy. Someone on a blanket there. That might have. That, that. David? Is that David? And Charlie? Oh, sneeze there. Yeah, let me eat that song. Okay, well, all right. Yeah, that's gotta be David. Seems I remember him. Never did walk on his knees. And this is it, uh, there's uh, uh, Pappy. And this is coming from their house. I'm almost, I may, maybe, maybe not. Looks like somebody's packing up. And clothes from the dry cleaners, but there's, there's Daddy.
and and just the, the layout of the house. This is it coming from. Uh, And the three steps up to the bedrooms in the back, or is it two steps? And back then we took photos with extra light. All right, David Charlie at Cramden, and these were new pictures to me too. See, I was thinking that might have been NASA or maybe Melbourne, I don't know. But this is outside with Pappy and Charlie and David. Robin, oh, playing a game, and that looks like Alton and Barry. No, could be. I don't know. But that really is Crandon Park. So. I'm not sure who that is coming out. Oh, that looks like Charlie. So. Bonnie. I'm not sure who that is leaving. They got there by bus, or leaving by bus. There's Mamma and Edith. And that has to be David. Sports car. Now this is going to be interesting. I hadn't seen this film before, but it looks like it's Charles and Roland went to this sports car. So for the next few minutes, this is what you're going to see going round and round and round. And I don't know which car to, to root for, but there was a car turned over back there. You saw that. Oh, must have moved and gotten up closer. And that red car must be the lead car. It just, he shows up in all these corners. So, somebody else is going to have to explain this one. But you will see um, Rollin and Charles, and Rollins with his Alfa Romeo. So I went to Daytona. Uh, I'm not even sure what year that was.
and I don't think I know who wins. There's a nose and eyeglasses. Somebody must have accidentally turned their the camera around. And I don't know who that is. That doesn't look good. Now that could be the winner, I don't know. And there's a, yeah, he's got an engine problem right now, I think. And I don't know who that is. And, but now we jump over to the Alfa Romeo, and there is Charlie in the driver's seat. And there is David and Charlie in the driver's seat. And somebody trying to get his attention. Sports car. Yeah, of some more of that. I want to have that sports car a long time. I remember sitting it, seeing it with things growing up around it. There's Charles, and that might be some friends of theirs. Now, I don't think this is the same <clears throat> event. Maybe it's the second day. I'm guessing on this. This film is beginning to de deteriorate, you can see on the left-hand side, but for some reason, the uh, film got turned around accidentally, I think. I guess you just join back in. A 
Also, it seems like back, back in the day, you just pulled up alongside and you can watch it from the fence. You don't have to pay a ticket to get inside an arena. And it's just there. There's Charles standing leaning against the Alpha. And oh, now there's Rollin. Okay. And now we're back at a zoo. Why did we think that was so important? And this must be our trip to the zoo in Houston. Yep. And maybe it was down at Cranon Park on another trip. Charles is there because I don't remember them ever going to the zoo here in Houston, so it was probably at Crandon Park. Just another film and we got him out of sequence somehow. There's a peacock. And penguins. And a swan. If you don't recognize that, I don't recognize what's in there. a bear. Oh, yeah, that bear is not crazy. And somehow we're out in a park. There's Charles and Bonnie and, and I'm not sure. Too many kids. But that's me and I'm carrying might be David. But we of course took the train ride. There's Bob and Bonnie and Charlie, David, And there, and there I am yawning. I'm ready to go home, Bonnie. And Kim with her daddy. Okay, Kim and Jay, 1963. Okay, showing off her outfit. And this is down, let's see, we were living on Rushcroft. Rushcroft? Off of Almeida to know him. Yeah. We lived across the street from um, the Jordans, uh, Larry and Reba Jordan, and uh, longtime friends. Um, I 
Larry has since passed away. Uh, our other friends who you, you will see in some of these films, Odie and Ann, have both passed away since then. Um, but here's Kim's room. And so those of you in the family who are looking at this, Actually, this film is in pretty good shape. I spoke too soon. It kind of went south on us here. But this is still in the same house. <clears throat> Different. Tim has changed her clothes. And this is when Pappy and Mamma came and visit one time. We live there. And I'm cooking in the, that little kitchen. This is our dining area. And I made those. Those are handmade from beads. Actually, those two things were left in the attic. And I wonder if they're still there. But there's Kim with Pappy. And he, we usually catch him reading the paper. But I'm stirring something up. And there's Miss Kim. Playing with her doll. And there's, and there, oh, there's our famous TV on that stand. That was it. We brought that television from Miami when we moved there. And there's Kim sitting on her bed. But I will tell you on that TV, she got mad at me. For some reason, we had a new TV, and that, that was our bedroom TV. She pushed it off that rolling cart. Okay. Charles and the boys. Okay. This has got to be, yeah, gunfight at the OK Corral. So... And I think Danny might even be in this one. Uh, no, if Danny's around, he's he's little. Well, there's three boys. Well, yeah, he got them all. So I'm not sure which ones are which anymore. They almost look like triplets. Okay. Yep. Well, okay, Danny, Charlie, if you're looking at them, you're going to have to pick out who's who in those films. You'll remember those. And see, there are parts that go bad. And, and there's Edith, and that has to be Miss Michelle. And there's a dog. 
don't know the doll, but but there's there's you'll see a picture here a little bit with Mother and Edith, and one of them is Mama, and from what I remember, the kids called Edith Big Mama. Now that might be neighbors. In fact, I'm suspecting it is, or just some kids they found to play with. But Michelle looks like she's on a mission to get somewhere. Oh, to get to her mammo. Oh, I hope you guys are enjoying seeing some of these pictures. Um, this this is a, a tape I've never seen before, so I'm ad-libbing. Okay, Labor Day, Charles and Bonnie. Oh. Well, here, here's another film I'm not familiar with, but you guys can pick out who is who, and somebody is having fun at a swimming pool. It looks like they went somewhere. Uh, they own the whole pool here. I got these films and packed away. I could say when Mamo moved and she came here for a while and they ended up in my picture boxes and I thought I needed to get them in some sort of, um, save them and make sure that uh, you guys have access to them, so. Miss Michelle again. She didn't rough house with those boys for a few years. Oh, yes. Okay, um, 
This the next one is Easter 1964. A lot of this, uh, it says Easter, but that does look like Christmas. And I'm not sure. That's there'll be a person show up that I'll be able to identify. Uh oh, that looks like a kid. Oh no, well, it's a big kid. It's uh, Bob, and in 64, it is probably Kim's first Christmas, maybe. And we're dressed up for something. I think Bob, uh, Christmas time. Oh yes, here we go with the big bows in the hair. That time. So, I'm second guessing some of this. This must be. Okay, yeah, Kim hasn't arrived yet, so this is December. And uh, I got a new robe in light blue. And I don't know what that is, but I probably bought it for Bob. What can I say? And now this is where Kim is, is born. Um, and we're getting ready to go to our place on uh, Tampa Street. We were, and there's the Volkswagen that brought us to Texas. So, uh, we, we lived in Tampa, close to Scott. I don't remember the street address here, but it was a one bedroom apartment. And at this point we were downstairs. We did live upstairs for a short time and got the downstairs corner apartment. Some bad footage here. Probably some pretty cute film that just hadn't gone bad. Mother came uh, when Kim was born. It's been about a week. Yeah, that's Miss Kim. Okay, here's another, 1965, and somehow we're back in Florida, I think. Uh, no, we're not. Who is, I'm not sure who that little, that looks like one of the Sturmans, so yeah. yeah. That looks like Danny sitting in Bob's lap. That must have been Charlie and Danny. Yeah. That's that is. There's Miss Bonnie and there's Mamma. Charlie and David. Okay, they're playing the circle game, I guess.
and then somebody's birthday. So now this is skipped around a while. This obviously is in the fall of the year, like with Halloween coming along. Now we are at the uh, Foley's Parade, and there's Bob just walking down the street, directing whoever's pulling that thing or guiding it. And uh, I remember standing on like the third floor of a parking garage taking this film. And. And of course, there's Santa. Looks like a, a meal worth taking a picture of. And this is before Tim was born also, so. I don't know how I jump back and forth on this. Okay, and there's going to be a uh, Christmas in 1960. Tim's coming home. It's not what that is. That's backwards. Uh, and I'm not sure who that is. And oh, okay. There's Kent. Jordan. And somehow the films got mixed up, so if you can keep up with it, the people are still the same. And I think this is when we went down to Florida. You know, I'm not sure on that. But there's some Kent and uh, I think it's at their place. There's Odie. Um, and, and I think that was Jay he was carrying. But some sort of party's going on. We're going to, yeah, these, these films were obviously mixed up in the boxes. So, I don't know if you can keep up and I'll try and remember what I can. And now that guy was Cecil and uh, Cecil was in our Sunday school class. There he is again, the only, I, I don't know why I remember Cecil. He, he married a young gal, I believe, and not too long after that, he committed suicide. Not that, Getting married has anything to do with that, but um, anyway, I'm not sure which baby this is. So it probably is. Kim didn't have any hair, so but oh, it may have been Michelle. No, but that's. Um, one of the Sturman boys. Um, and that was Bonnie, and there's Mam Ma. Well, that could have been even been Danny, maybe. I don't know. But so far, yeah. Now here's Bonnie walking with, yeah, not sure. And four pictures, four film, I should say. Okay, now we're getting ready to see something else. 
Now this is another Christmas 62. It looks like it's going backwards, but this was in my house. The house I lived at 360 Northeast 163rd Street. And um, I'm not sure that's where this is taken. Um, It's 1962, it's, there's Mamma and Charles. And yeah, there's the kitchen, a table, sat around many, many times. And, And there's Edith. Um, pretty sure that probably is Charlie. And there is Bob's mom. And we went over for. Christmas. And, and Clyde. I remember that, and I think that's Carl. He must have been in town, and there's a graduation picture of Bob, so this is in Bob's mother's home. And I don't know what else to. And here we are. That we only had three steps at my house, so that's we're back over. And. Uh, Um, that's me and Bob, and this had to be at a party, that was Cecil, and I can't remember that gal's name, so, um, and he was just a friend from Sunday school. Okay, we're getting, and I don't remember her. Okay, we're we're going somewhere. Oh, we went. This is out of Fredericksburg. I when I hit the hill and coming down um, ten, I think I just thought that was the prettiest sight. And that's Texas for you, all over Texas. And uh, I think. I think on this this particular trip and then somehow we ended up at the beach and I'm almost sure that is in Mississippi, Gulfport. Um, yep. And as you can see, diapers were pinned on back in those days. And uh, headed to, but that looks like the beach is there along the coast. Uh, and there's Miss Kim dressed up for Sunday school. And she wants to show you her purse. And she likes the camera. <laughs> and 
and I don't know what, but she had something she wanted to play with. And I believe that is Craig Jordan. That's Kim and Craig Jordan, of our backyard. Um, Bexley? Yeah, we were on Bexley that time. And they lived across the street. Now that's Wayne pushing the lawnmower and Wayne and Craig. So, and there's Miss Kim running, <clears throat> still playing. Now, I'm not sure if she's looking at a plane, but now, oh, we went to the countryside with a new car. went over to the LBJ libraries in there and this is obviously a Christmas going and I think don't know where this was taken. And that oh, we must have been in Miami. There's Rollins' uh, car. His Alfa Romeo. I think I talked him into letting me drive it like down the block and come back. And that's our house on, at 360 North East 163rd Street. And um, we were teenagers when we moved there from Pennsylvania. We lived uh, just outside of Neshaminy, Pennsylvania. And then uh, Daddy went to Miami and uh, Uncle U.S. We got a job with Uncle U.S. and we worked and I know I overdid it on the hair. What can I say? And there's golfing. Not sure where that was. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm I'm trying. And Yeah. Have to get with Bob on that injury. I know I didn't do it. It was a, yeah, we all got together for probably food and a small backyard and we're batting. And I don't know where that was taken. 
Oh, okay, Dan. All right. There was a name on that, Billy. So that might be the other one. But obviously, Charlie and David have grown some here. Uh, I don't. This must be a neighbor of theirs. Um, and this had to be, I guess, in Melbourne, Florida. And I've never seen these before, so um, but Michelle's around, so David is in there some. Charlie, David, Danny, all three of them are in there and in a neighborhood neighbor. And there's Michelle. And we'll probably get some pictures of Bonnie also. Okay, there you go. Neighborhood boys and girls, and here comes, well, there's Michelle sitting in Daddy's lap, and I assume that's Bonnie coming out the door. Of course it could have, no, there's Bonnie, so that, that other person was probably Memo maybe, or Edith. Um, the kids called her Big Memo. Anyway, great shot of those kids. And Kim's in there somehow, right there. So obviously we were visiting. I should remember, there's Edith, yeah sitting with Bonnie, holding Michelle. So, There she is, Miss Michelle. So it's been a pleasure to kind of guess who some of these are. And I uh, appreciate you taking the time to listen. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.